Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it's new and approved current news for that. God dang it. Let's try it again. Ladies and gentlemen, it's current tech news with Joel Mauer. Anyway, today we have our self news from the CNN website by Doug uh, Gross. I feel sorry for this guy's last name. It was uh, posted, it was updated in uh, at 12. At 11.20 a.m. Eastern Time at March 19th, 2014. I'm having my lips a little too close, so sorry about that. The headline, as you can plainly see, Lego Robot Shatters Rubik's Cube Record. You're just only seeing the cell phone right here. If you're never able to solve a Rubik's Cube without peeling off the stickers and prying it apart with a butter knife, you're really going to hate this robot. To me, I don't hate this, because good gravy, technology is fun. Especially when you have Legos. It's like childhood, mixed with man-childism, I don't know. Now, the robot, known as CubeStormers 3, is a robot built with Legos and powered by the smartphone that you see here, which is Samsung Galaxy S4. Makes me wish I can play S4 right now, but moving on. This is a lightning, it's lightning quick because the record was pulled off on Saturday at the Big Bang Fair in Birmingham and in the United Kingdom. The record now has just, is now currently standing at 3 seconds and 3.25 seconds. The original record heard, oddly enough, was made. The old record was oddly made by the same team with Cube Stormer 2, which made the record, the last year's record, at 5.27 seconds. And that mark narrowly bested the best human in time of 5.5 seconds set by Matt Valk of the Netherlands last year. I gotta admit, if you can be able to solve a Rubik's Cube in about under s 10 seconds? That's a feat of accomplishment right there, or a lot of boredom. And like, I have to memorize the cube, I look at the cube, and then ding 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 ding, there's their cube. I don't even know what the Netherlands sounds like, so I apologize to anyone from the Netherlands that are somehow watching this video. If you're that crazy enough to watch them anyway. Okay, from a uh, David uh, Gilday, he says this: We knew Cube Stormers Three had the potential to beat the existing record, but with the human and performant, but with the robot performing physical operations quicker than the human eye can see, there's always an element of risk. Now, Dave Gilday, it build, who builds robots, along with co-inventor Mike uh, Dobson. The phone analyzes the cube and calculates the best sequence of moves to solve it. Then instructs the robot's four arms to get to work. It's a four-armed cube-solving robot. Jeez Louise. And this is even crazier. Eight Lego Mindstorm um, EV3 bricks. It's perform motion control and sequence on the robot. That's like eight... Eight AIs is controlling four arms. That's like two of them per arm. At least I think so. Oh, anyways. Again from uh, Gilday. In the end, the hours we spent perfecting the robot, ensuring its motor intelligence functions were properly <coughs> synchronized, paid off. Our big challenge now is working out if it's possible to make it even go to make it go even faster. If you can go make it go even faster, holy jeez, there is no way you're going to beat that record. <laughs> Erno Rubix, the har Hungarian architect that made the freaking cube, would probably be e e stunned if he, he saw that. If he I bet he's probably still alive, I don't know. If he actually saw this, he he'd probably have his jaw on the floor and he has to pick it back up. Now, 
the fun, the interesting thing about the cube, you can solve it in 20 moves or fewer in any, any form. <laughs> if you absolutely know what you're doing, yeah. Well, anyway, I was getting off topic for this. But, anyway, my thoughts on this. I gotta admit, this is actually a big, big, big feat, you know, my opinion. I grew up with Lego, and then when I see some people actually make this Lego or solve one of man's most confusing and hard puzzles for the common folk, it's just a feat of fr freaking wonder right there. All I can say is, you guys, you deserve every, every respect for doing this by uh, all people that fell prey to this simple cube thing. Well, and now to end with my fun, you know, old thought. If it's possible to make a robot that solves a cube in that short time, why not something else? Like, build car cars in, I don't know, ten minutes. Heck, ten minutes would actually be pretty qu quick. Then you ha everyone have a car. Or better yet, have a robot that knows how to drive a car. Oh wait, that's already done. Uh, I might as well end this right now. Hopefully next week we'll have something el else to uh, indulge in. This is Joel Mauer from Current Tech News, signing off.